In a follow-up to this, the parent video to this video, how to cite an MLA using Microsoft Word, which you can find the link to that in the description of this video in YouTube, uh, I made this video uh, discussing how you can use features in Google Docs to be able to cite easily in your paper. In the first video, I discussed some kind of general rules, some MLA, ci MLA formatting, MLA citations, so I won't go over that now, but if you are interested in that or you need to get that information, then watch the How to Cite in the MLA using Microsoft Word. In this video, which is much briefer than the other one, I want to just show you how you can use features in Google Docs to be able to do a similar thing, that is, to how to cite easily without having to remember all the information. In the first video, I discuss a great resource, Purdue Owl, or the Online Writing Lab of Purdue University, that gives you a search function, all, all things MLA, uh, sample pages. We'll discuss MLA more, so go check that link out uh, if you need general information about MLA. But what this video will show you is you don't need to necessarily have that information to be able to cite an MLA in your papers, in this case, if you are using Google Doc to write your paper or write whatever you're doing for your class. So how to do this. So I've got this simple paragraph uh, that I wrote. It, it's completely fictional. Um, and uh, this, this source from the verve.com, uh, the verbepipe.com doesn't even exist. The verbepipe was a very famous band in the 90s. Uh, really a one-hit wonder. I guess not that famous, but they were a one-hit wonder. Um, so I just kind of used that as the web page. So the verbepipe.com. So in this, in this paragraph, I really just have one citation. Uh, that I have to cite or give credit to, and that's this, according to Slay Moab of the verbpipe.com, uh, how to cite in MLA using Microsoft Word, quote, smash box office records worldwide and cause ravenous demand for more from this genre-bending filmmaker. Um, let me get rid of this pair of this right there, because that is a, we want to do that. Um, so how to cite MLA using Microsoft Word, quote, smashed box office records worldwide. So there's quite a correct grammatical quote, just on a side note. Um, so we can, of course, if you follow Purdue Al, use the citation. What you, If you went to Purdue Al, you see that you need to have the author's last name um, at, in the in-text citation. And then once again, uh, we'd go to a works cited page. You can also call it a bib bibliography. And here you would have to have uh, this information of slow moab who sounds like a writer, or Slay Moab, who sounds like a writer for something, if there was a thing called the verbpipe.com. Um, great MLA video, we'll call it that article, uh, verbpipe.com. Uh, let's make it, for some reason, he wrote on Christmas Day of 2019, since Christmas Day 2020 hasn't happened yet. Um, and then we would put, of course, access on. Uh, you do, you could, you in MLA, you'll see you need to use the medium the website accessed on October 8th, 2020. Okay, so this actually isn't right, by the way, and I could see that it's not right if I had to go to Purdue Al and look at this web page. But you don't have to do that with this resource. So I'm going to just delete that. So how can we easily? easily cite um, using Google Docs? That's the question. How, what features in Google Docs can help me cite easy, make it easy on yourself so you know what information you need to do and trust that the citation is correct? Well, this is what we want to do. It's real simple. Go to Tools, Citations, and then you can pick the citation format. Uh, it's got the three most popular ones, MLA, APA, and Chicago. MLA is pretty much the standard one for anything in the liberal arts, like you know, the history, history, English, things like that. APA, which stands for American Psychological Association, is really popular in the sciences, and your science teachers may ask you to use APA. But you, if they don't say anything, generally it's MLA. And once again, the rule on this is uh, it doesn't really matter which format you pick if they don't if the teacher or whoever's asking you to write the paper doesn't indicate uh, which one they want you to do, just stay consistent with the rules of whatever that format you choose. So we're going to pick MLA. So there's MLA. Obviously, you click Add Citation Source. This is a website accessed by website. <laughs> Not very difficult. Um, we're going to do the author. In this case, Slay 
Moep. I'm always fascinated with people last names with two consonants at the end of their last name. I think that's really interesting. So I, that's this fictional writer for me. Um, this article, uh, great MLA video. That. Um, the website was uh, the verb, vervepipe.com. Notice publisher's not started. I don't need that. UL, URL, this would be the actual like source, the, the link. So I could copy this and we'll do, let's just imagine it's called verbpipe.com uh, backslash MLA great article. Um, I could just copy and paste whatever, you know, go to the browser and copy and paste and put it there. Don't need published date, don't need that. Published year, 2019. Published day, it was on the 25th. Published month. It's weird that's not starred. That should probably be starred. December, December, December 25th. Access month, whenever I did it. Um, so that's uh, October 2020. And notice it's not asking me for the specific access day. Here we go. That's what I want. That's what messed me up on this. Published month and published year is fine. December, not asking for the specific date. Access day would be the 8th, October 8th, 2020. So notice these two distinctions. All right. And then we click. Add citation source. All right there, it is. Now it's in my little toolbar. Notice it hasn't popped up over here yet, but it's in. So I just want to click. You can do other things, right? You can edit if you make mistakes, whatever. Delete right there with the three little dots. But I want to cite this. I make sure my cursor is blinking where I want it, and click cite. And there you go. And then I would of course delete that space holder that I had. Um, so now we can trust that this is correct. Uh, we've got the information we need. Um, and it, this is correct. If you did, if you need to double check, you go to Purdue Al and see that an author's last name is how, even if you mention it in the article or in the sentence, the author's last name is how you indicate uh, a website article, right? Because there's no pages in a website article. So there you go. Now, as I said in the previous video, and as always, this citation, in-text citation, should correspond to a entry in your works cited bibliography page. Um, and that can be tedious to write. Once you, if you finish a paper, especially if it's a bigger paper, 10, 15, 20 pages, you're probably going to have uh, 10 or more sources. Let's say you know as much as 70 sources. You can have a lot of sources depending on the kind of paper. And then you'd have to spend hours going back, tracking the information, and entering in. If I just had to like, all right, now I'm going to make my work cited page, right? You don't have to do that using this feature. Um, instead of hours, it takes two seconds. I have this information. I want to go, once again, make sure my cursor is on the page. The bibliography works cited page always goes at the end of a paper. And then I'll click insert bibliography. Boom. Done. Notice this is, it's double spaced. It's even indented over. It's got all the information I need. Um, in this case, unlike Word, it's perfectly fixed in terms of that. And it is done. Now, if I had 20 sources, it would just list 20 sources. So it could take me hours, takes me two seconds. So this issue in Google Docs, or this feature in Google Docs is really helpful. Um, once again, tools, citations, and then you'd enter in the information. So as you're writing your paper, you don't want to go back and add citations later. It's good to go ahead and enter this. And once you enter the information once, it's in there. If I needed to cite this Moab character a bunch of times, so like, you know, Moab goes on to say, goes on to say that uh, the... Uh, narration of the video parallels the excellent work of Morgan Freeman. Uh, Morgan Freeman's a great narrator. One of my favorite movies, Shawshank Redemption, which he narrates, and then of course the documentary March of the Penguins. Morgan Freeman's voice is great. Um, so here you go. So uh, like this is a not a direct quote, but I'm using this idea and what he says. I'm paraphrasing, but I still need to use the idea. So I need to give a citation. Cite, done, period, done. And then if I just need to cite him again and again, I just could cite as many times that Moab appears. Um, and I don't need to re-enter any of that information. So hopefully this is a good feature for you, that or a good little lesson on how to use this in Google Docs if you prefer to write in Google Docs instead of Microsoft Word. I hope this is helpful for you. And I hope uh, it makes the citation process simple, easy, uh, and saves you uh, time and effort that you can dedicate to the actual writing of the paper.